Robert brought his wife insomniac, insomniac uh, drink alcohol, flirtatious, flirtatious to his friend, cleaning house a lot. Okay, what is this? She is flirt, flirting you and later became, became angry. Okay, we have here the crazy lady that is do uh, a sedation, not sedation, seduction for the friends of her husband and even for for you and you are a doctor, she is flirting you. So here is, absolutely here we have the crazy lady, she is hypomania not histrionic personality disorder, not alcoholism. Those are the trick for diagnosing of hypomanic lady. Insomnic, the hist histrionic personality also, uh, this lady will, uh, will do seduction for the uh, doctor. She is, uh, the doctor is one of the aims personality for those histrionic ladies, histrionic personality, but those will not have insomnia and they will not have the, um, also I want you to know that clearing the house a lot, this is also a trick for diagnosing of hypomanic lady with the flir uh, flirting flirting the friend and flirting of the doctor and then became angry. Okay, this is hypomania. Okay, everyone, I want you to know the difference between hypomanic lady and hysterionic lady. As I told you, hypomanic will have the insomnia, hysterionic will not have the insomnia, hysterionic will, will uh, let's say, her goal is not to, uh, to, to fl do flirtatious behavior to the friends, but just she, she has an idea of that she wants to take the best, so uh, the doctor are one of the target persons that those hysterionic ladies are uh, coming to visit. Not like hypomania, hypomania is a crazy one. She will do uh, the crazy things for anyone. So simply whenever you are thinking about the crazy, remember the hypomania. Alcoholism at all, it has no relation to this scenario at all, okay? Man brought to hospital after throwing brick at window. He said last thing he remembers is leaving work from rural farm. Further malignant uh, or dissociative uh, Fugo, this is one of the old, old, old questions. It is dissociative uh, Fugo. What is that? Who does anyone know? This is the typical scenario of it. The patient now uh, didn't remember anything about. Uh, previous history and they have a new identity with the new uh, dream with everything in you, new ID, new identity, everything is in you for them and this is we call it dissociative fugo. She said last thing he remembers is leaving work from rural farm. Yes, doctor, 
thank you, they forget where they went to a place, to any place. 15 year old male, secrotal pain for 24 hours, tender, restless, and red secrotum skin. What to do next? What to do? Uh, it's incomplete. It is to go for ultrasound, CT aspiration, or um, I don't know, surgery. It is sur surgery. If there is no fever, yes, think about the torsion and you can go for surgery. However, the duration of pain is against. We cannot go for surgery for this. This is incomplete, just leave it. Young male, scrotal pain, fever, thick cord, what is the possible, uh, what, which will help you for the diagnosis of course you will go for urine PCR, I mean urine analysis. Urine analysis is the first thing to be done in epididymic orchitis. Whenever we have seen many patients like this presented to the ER with scrotal pain and the mild fever, when we examine them we see that there is thick, thick cord and what is the next? Of course, we will send this patient. I will directly think about the epididymal orchitis or orchitis alone. So I will send them for urine analysis. Here it is uh, urine PCR. Sometimes write it uh, as urine PCR and sometimes uh, write it as urine analysis. After that, uh, I no need for after after that in your exam, but just for knowledge. After that, we will give a treatment for this uh, patient. No need for ultrasound, no need for CT, no need for fine needle aspiration cytology, and absolutely fine needle aspiration cytology will never be done for any cases of scrotal problem. Patient had kidney transplant from cadaver, no urine output up to seven post-operative days, requiring dialysis. What is the cause? Of course, the, the cause is uh, acute rejection, most common cause. We have, uh, as you know, in uh, renal transplant, we have uh, two, three types of rejection hyperacute rejection, acute rejection, and uh, chronic rejection. I don't really, I don't remember, it's chronic or something else, but we have just immediate, which is hyperacute rejection, and acute rejection and something prolonged, I don't know, it's chronic or called the prolonged, rejection, but the most important too is the uh, immediate rejection that occur at the table of the operation, at the time of operation, and when the patient on table, the rejection occur, and the acute rejection is the most common, and this could be occur in a few days up to, uh, let's say, up to uh, weeks. Post-operative day three, old lady, confused history of DVT, pulled out IVA, uh, SPO2 is low, investigation, what investigation? Okay, we have to go for CTPA because of pulmonary embolism. We have here the trick is the, the patient is post-operative, became confused. There is a history also of DVT risk factor. And SPO to start, we need the full scenario, but it's most likely to be a pulmonary embolism. And uh, this is high risk because post-operatively and with the history of DVT, so what is the investigation we will go for it? We will, the best is CTPA. If there is no CTPA, we can go for chest X-ray.
post-operative day 10, surgery for stomach cardia, uh, left chest pain. It is day 10 post-operative. On investigation, reduced chest on examination, reduced chest sound on the left lung with the dullness. What is the cause for that? What you will do for this patient? I want you to know this surgery has a special uh, complication. You have to know it. We have here the leak. Any surgery that we are doing it for a patient in the uh, stomach, mainly stomach cardia, uh, that's the fundus of the stomach. Believe me, if I said most of the uh, those operation end with the leak, and we have to diagnose them by CT. We cannot even, even if we send the patient for X-ray uh, or after doing a sputum, we will not find anything. What we mean by leak? Just let me show you. We have here the esophagus. We have here the stomach. Okay, we did an operation here, whatever was the operation, removal of the distal, barrett esophagus, something like that, whatever was the, the uh, treatment, even uh, those who are do nowadays sleeve gastrectomy and surgery for, uh, to become more slim, Whenever we did a surgery here, and we will did like this, for example, we will did an anastomosis. Okay, this side got a high leak percentage. What we mean by leak, just leakage, leakage of the content of the stomach and leakage of the content uh, of the, uh, of sometime. A blood, okay, all these will go directly where to the, here, here is the heart, to the mediastinum, and sometimes to the left side of the chest, so may cause this chest sound will be uh, reduced in the left lung when there is dullness. How we can diagnose this condition? We can diagnose it by a CT scan of the chest and abdomen. Okay? Please confirm your understanding to the complication of this operation.